Welcome to tonight's coverage of the Davison vers versus Flushing con conference game. This is going to be a good game between these two teams because of the competitiveness. The Cardinals lost in the first round to the Flushing Raiders only by two points last year in the first round of the regionals. And here we have Emily Lindsay up top giving it to Taylor Hitchcock. Turnover. And turnover, 22. That's Jamie Howell with the steal. Lauren Bellman gives it to Taylor Hitchcock. Taylor Hitchcock takes it in. Passes the ball to Chelsea Entrican. Chelsea, Chelsea Entrican down low. Lauren Bellman with the two points. Jordan Leduc with the ball. Takes it in the zone. And we have a travel by Jordan Leduc. Emily Lindsay with the ball. Passes in to Taylor Hitchcock. Taylor Hitchcock bringing the ball up. Passes Lindsay. it to Chelsea Entrican. Chelsea takes it in with the layup, but no good. Foul on number 24, Samantha Stein. First shot, failure. And the second shot is no good. Rebounded by number 44, Kaylee Rahman. Ball being brought up the court by number 22. And stolen by Lauren Bellamy. Taylor Hitchcock brings it in. And fouled by number 31, Jordan LeDuc. First shot by Taylor Hitchcock. Bounces, but no good. Might I add that tonight's game is very, very competitive. I mean, these two teams are so close in skill level, and it's just going to be a great game. And the second shot is no good as well. Number 34, Emily Wending and Wendling with the rebound. Cardinals seem to be running a zone defense. Jordan LeDuc passes it to number 24, Samantha Stein. Back to 42, Connor Morish. Man-to-man -man defense, that is. Cardinals ball, Emily Lindsay inbounds it to Taylor Hitchcock. Taylor Hitchcock slowly bringing down the court. Looking for an option, takes it in, passes it to Entrican. Entrican long on, on the perimeter to Lindsay. Lindsay back to Entrican. Entrican takes in for the two. What a great play. Snuck it right in there and got the basket. Jordan LeDuc with the ball. We have a double team on Jordan LeDuc. Samantha Stein to Jordan LeDuc. Jordan LeDuc takes it in. Down low to 42, Connor Morris. Taylor Hitchcock bringing the ball up the court. Takes it in, layup, oh no good, close though. Thrown Lauren back up by Lauren Bellamy and she's fouled on the way up. Lauren Bellamy is in fact a division one player. I mean, she got signed to Central to go play down there, so. And Jordan LeDuc for Flushing is going to Florida Gulf Coast, so we have two division one college players here we're watching tonight, so it should be interesting. It should. First shot did not go in, and the second shot is good. Warren Bellamy with her first point. Taylor Hitchcock is guarding number 31, Jordan LeDuc, who is one of their biggest threats to tonight's game. She's an all-stater, and she's just 
a, a great player. Number 24, Samantha Stein, 242, which is Connor Morris back to Jordan LeDuc. Jordan LeDuc takes it in, down low, back out to LeDuc. LeDuc passes it to 24, Samantha Stein, who takes it in, and the ball is stripped. Inbounding by Connor Morris. Out to 34, Emily Wendling, 222, Jamie Howell. Down low to the, tried to get it down low to Connor Morris, and Cardinals have the ball. Chelsea Anderson takes it in to Kaylee Rahman, and she makes the basket. Out to number 31, Jordan LeDuc. Cardinals are really using their double team on Jordan LeDuc because she is such a threat. Well, they have to, or else she's just going to run it down the court all night and keep scoring. I talked to Fishhaber, and he said that she was the one that they were going to guard the most in tonight's game because she's provided so much for Flushing that they she's just needed to shut her down. Sam Stein, two free throws. First one is no good. Number 22, Jamie Howell in for Jordan LeDuc. <laughs> Emily Lindsay takes it down and it goes out of bounds, flushing ball. That's number 22, Jamie Howell inbounding it. Gives it to number 24, Samantha Stein. Double team Samantha back to Jamie Howell. To Jordan LeDuc. They're really trying to get her that ball. So we got to play hard defense on her. Throws it off Emily Lindsay's knee for a flushing ball. Inbound by Jordan LeDuc. To number Jordan. 22. Jamie Howell. Jamie Howell to travel. I thought that coming out this game was gonna be very, very fast paced and it was gonna be close, but the Raiders are so far getting shut down. Cards are up 7-0, I mean. Cards defense is looking very strong well so yeah, far tonight. Really main maintaining, like, getting Jordan and. Three-pointer miss by number. 40 by number 44, Kaylee Rahman. Taylor Hitchcock on Jordan LeDuc. Jordan up top. Passes it to number 42, Connor Morris. Back out to Samantha Stein. I'm sorry, Jamie Howell. Now to Samantha Stein. Gives it back to LeDuc. They're really trying to get LeDuc the ball because they know she can do so much, but so far, cards are just shutting her down. Oh, number 24 passes it to Emily Linden with uh, two points. Raiders' first points of the night. Taylor Hitchcock up top, brings it in with the layup, and it's stuck. Sam Stein fouled Taylor Hitchcock. It is her second of the night. Taylor with her first shot, and it's good. The Cardinals really need to capitalize on these free throws. I mean, they've already had about eight free throw attempts, but have only made two so far. And number 35, Mariah Ferris, and who are, uh, Paige is in for Davidson now. That's Paige Skinner. And LeDuc gets the rebound, but Lauren Bellamy and Taylor Hitchcock get the strip. And Lauren Bellamy scores. LeDuc passes it far into number 32, Morgan Fly. Back to LeDuc in the backcourt. Taylor Hitchcock on her. LeDuc passes it to 32, Morgan Fly. To number 34, Emily Wenling. And it out of bounds with a high bounce. Paige Skinner inbounding to Taylor Hitchcock. 
Emily Taylor is taking it down the court. Taylor hits back up top. Picked by Mariah Ferris. Back to Mariah Ferris, who dribbles it in. Passes it to Paige Skinner. Ooh, struggling with the ball. Lauren Bellamy comes up with a big save and takes it in for the two. There's that division one right there. Oh, oh. and the pickoff by Kaylee Rahman. Out to Taylor Hitchcock, back to Kaylee. For and the three. three. What a great play that was. Time out. Battled by hard, got the point, and I mean they were scruffling within the perimeter and kicked it out to Kaylee there. And I mean, automatic success right there. Kaylee just knocked it down was a very three. nice shot. Very nice. Cards are up 15 2 right now. This game's going pretty well in the Davison area. I mean, this could be one of Flushing's first upsets by Davison due to the fact that they haven't beat him and or Davison hasn't beaten Flushing in years. And with Davison's new coach, uh, Coach Fishhaber, um, they're looking like this is going to be a good year, heavy on seniors. And Coach Fishhaber has a, Coach Fishhaber has a very good coaching philosophy. Oh, looks like we have a replay here. By Kaylee Rahman. We have Taylor Hitchcock with the ball out to Kaylee Rahman with the three. What a beautiful shot that was. And what a great effort by Taylor there to get the ball out to her. Here we have Mr. Fishhaber with her his group, probably giving him some words. What do you think he's saying in there? Just give them words of encouragement and tell them to just keep doing what they're doing because they're doing very well at containing Jordan LeDuc and I the rest agree. of this. I they are doing very good. And like I said, their biggest, what they need to do the most is they need to get Jordan LeDuc covered and covered well so that they can maintain a good lead on them. Out of bounds on Flushing Raiders with that great double team by Taylor Hitchcock and Lauren Bellamy. Lauren Bellamy. Mariah Ferris passes it in to Kaylee Rahman. Kaylee Rahman out to Mariah Ferris. She dribbles in and goes up. And it's good. What a nice shot. By the freshman, Mariah Ferris. Looks like she had Mariah a little fader going there. She kind of fell down. That was nice. Poor little LeBron James, you know. LaDuke with the ball. Double team. And they force it to give it to Kaylee, Kaylee Rahman. Rahman. Kaylee Rahman out to Taylor Hitchcock. Back to Kaylee Rahman, who looks for a choice. Oh, but she travels. If they keep double teaming LeDuc like that, LeDuc's just going to throw it away all night, and that's exactly what I talked to Coach Fishauer about, and he said it's going to be press, press, press. It's going to be a fast-paced game. So, so far it's going all in their favor. Lauren Bellamy with the coverage. Out to LeDuc. Flushing's ball. LeDuc dribbles up court. And knocked out of bounds. By number 24, Paige Skinner. Jordan LeDuc throwing it in. To number 22, Jamie Howell. Back to LeDuc in the backcourt. LeDuc slowly takes it in. Out to number 22, Jamie Howell. Back to 21, Simone Golem. Out to 31 with the three attempt, but no good. 31, Jordan LeDuc. Another shot, three-point attempt by LeDuc and failure. Oh, but she gets the steal, takes it down court. Two on two. LeDuc takes it out, right off her shoe. Number 14, Colby Bro in for Taylor Hitchcock. Ooh, Kobe. Colby, she is in fact a freshman and she's doing very well this year. Her last few games, she's knocked down a few points and I mean, for a freshman, she's, she's good. She's really good. She's very athletic and we'll see a lot, a good performance out of her in the next years to come. Mariah Ferris is also a freshman, so there's three freshmen on this team actually. Maybe we will see the other, which is, who's that? Uh, Morgan Hitchcock, Taylor Hitchcock's little sister. Jordan LeDuc with the ball around the perimeter. Looking for somewhere to go. Down low to number 31, or I'm sorry, 21, Simone Gollum. Shot didn't go. Out of bounds on Flushing. Bronte, Texas, and for the Cardinals, replacing 
Bronte Dzinski in for Lauren Bellamy. Paige Skinner will be throwing it in to number 14, Colby Bro. There's Colby, that freshman. Page with the ball out the perimeter to Colby. Oh, buzzer beater, but no good. Now let's toss it out to our sideline reporter, Tony Campbell. Looks like we're having some technical difficulties here. So this game, Cardinals, oh, never mind. Thanks, guys. Well, as you can see, Davidson pretty much came out and dominated the whole game entirely. With the defense being rock solid, only allowing Flushing two points, and every girl on the team looking like she's pretty hot from behind the three-point line, it's ought to be an interesting game to see how it stacks up. Back to your announcers with the rest of the game. Are you going to come right back to us? Thank you, Tony. This is halftime. Cards up 18 to two. They're just maintaining great pressure on this Flushing team. I mean, really, really, really shutting down the Duke, which what they needed to do tonight. And I stress the Duke because she is Flushing's best player. And I mean, they maintaining coverage on her is the most important thing tonight, so that they can keep her from scoring so many points. I'm sorry, it is actually the second quarter. Flushing ball as we start the second quarter. Flushing starts the quarter with the ball. Number 31, Jordan LeDuc, is inbounding. It's number 22, Jamie Howell. Jamie Howell. Colby Bro pressuring her and forces number 22, Jamie Howell, to travel. She moved her pivot foot on that one. Not only is Colby offensively good, but she also is defensively good, as you can see right there. Ma get causing pressure on and forcing the turnover. Colby Bro out to Mariah Ferris. Mariah Ferris looks for somewhere to go. Out to Kaylee Raman. Kaylee dribbles it in to Mariah. Mariah shoots, but it is short. The Duke takes it down court. Hustling in there, trying to get two. Down to number 42, Connor Morris, and fouled. This is Connor Morris up for two free throws. Kaylee Raman with her first foul. Her first is good. And this Connor Morris, she's a very tall girl, and uh, I noticed that earlier, and she's really giving it to Lauren and uh, Kaylee down low there. She's really making them fight for it. Bronte Dobzinski inbounds to Colby Bro, who runs it down court and passes it to Mariah Ferris. Mariah Ferris to Paige Skinner. Paige out to Colby. Colby looks for something, but nothing. Out to Paige Skinner. Paige in for the two, but it's no good. Still Cardinals ball. Morgan Hitchcock in for Paige Skinner, and Morgan is one of the freshmen. It's weird, we have all three freshmen out at once. That shows just how good, no matter what the age, it just shows how good you can be. I mean, we got three freshmen here playing on the varsity level. Lauren Bellamy is back in for Mariah Ferris, along with Taylor Hitchcock. Taylor Hitchcock came in for Bronte Dobzinski. Jamie Howell out to Jordan LeDuc. LeDuc looks for somewhere to go, out to number 32, Morgan Fry. Down low to 42, Connor Morris. But the Raiders just 42. can't get these shots to drop. It's because of our defense. We're just give, giving it to them. 
Taylor Hitchcock fouled by Jordan Duke. Colby inbounds Taylor Hitchcock. Making an emergency call to play. Looks for somewhere to go. Out to Colby. To number 41, Morgan Hitchcock. To Lindsey Fulton. Back to Hitchcock. Looks for somewhere to go. Passes it to Colby Bro. Colby for the three. But it's no good. Just a little bit short. Lauren Bellamy on Jordan LaDuke. What the matchup there. Lauren Bellamy with the steal to Taylor Hitchcock who takes it in. Passes it off to Colby. Colby sets it up up top. Over to Morgan Hitchcock. Down low to Lindsey Fulton. Lindsey tries but couldn't just get up there. Jordan LaDuke takes it in. Passes it off to Connor Morris to Jamie Howell. Jamie Howell takes it in and packed away by Lauren Bellamy. That shows right there her mighty defensive skills. That was a very nice block. <laughs> she really is just a fundamentally skilled player and just with all her ability, I mean, Central's got quite the player coming. Indeed they do. Jamie Howell inbounds it to that is number 21 for Flushing, Simone Gollum. 2.42 and 42, Connor Morris with the two point success. Colby passes in, Taylor Hitchcock. Taylor Hitchcock out to Colby Bro. Two, Kaylee Rahman out to Hitchcock. Hitchcock with the three, but no good. Lauren Rahman and Connor Morris, or I'm sorry, Lauren Bellamy and Connor Morris scuffing down there. And we have a replay coming up here. Jamie Howell and Lauren Bellamy scuffs her. What a great hit play by Lauren there. Like I said, she's just so fundamentally skilled and such a great player to have. During that replay, the Cardinals' Taylor Hitchcock scored a two-pointer layup. Oh, and Jordan LaDuke up top for a three-pointer. Colby Bro taking it in. Colby out to Hitchcock. Hitchcock to Raman. Raman to Colby. And Colby Bro shoots a three, but it is short. Jordan LaDuke hustles it in there. Everybody trying to get the ball. Passes it off, 24. Samantha Stein back to LaDuke. LaDuke goes up for the two, and it's no good. And she knocks down Emily Lindsay. Great sportsmanship, th sportsmanship though. She really helped up uh, Emily there when she knocked it down. I mean, Shows that she's not only a great athlete, but she shows sportsmanship too. Jordan Leduc with her first free throw. No good. No good. Emily Wenling checks back in for Flushing. Emily Wenling back in for number 22, Simone Gomes. And Leduc with her second attempt, and it is good. Colby Bro taking it up, setting up a play here, looking for somewhere to go. Passes it to Emily Lindsay around the perimeter. Emily to Hitchcock up top. Inside Colby, back to Hitchcock. Two Bro, out to Lindsay, back to Hitchcock. Down low to Raman. Raman dribbles it in for the two. Kaylee's so strong in the lower key, she just knows exactly where, what to do and she doesn't panic under pressure. I mean, she's a great player also. Emily Lindsay with the attempt to steal there and it actually went out on her. So Flushing's ball, 42. Connor Morris passes it in to 34. Emily Wenley to Jamie Howell. Out to number 24, Samantha Stein. To LaDuke. LaDuke down low. Out to Wenling, up top to Morris. Out to Jamie Howell, back to LaDuke, up top. LaDuke looks for somewhere to go. Out to Stein, up to Connor Morris. 
pump fake by Morris there. To Laduke. Laduke shoots the three, and it's no good. Just a little long. Out of bounds on Flushing. Cardinals ball. Hitchcock inbounds it to Kobe Bro. Colby Bro to Hitchcock, out to Lindsay, back to Bro. Bro looks for somewhere to go and passes it to Hitchcock up top. Lindsay up to Hitch Hitchcock. Hitchcock takes it in, passes it to Lindsay. Lindsay passes it to Raman, and Raman travels. That's the second time she's been called on traveling this game. Yeah. We all have our off days. She's doing good though. Very good. Time out. And ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. The Davison Decca chapter has Cardinals to up twenty two to ten. Still a great game. But I still feel that Cardinals are giving it to them strong and they're just really coming out showing them what we can what we're made of, you know. We have such a great team this year with so many seniors and even the underclassmen are also great players too, so it really provides to the team and stuff. Yeah, Cardinals do have a very good bench on their side. I think Coach Fishhaber being new and all, he's doing a great job this year teaching these girls what, what, it, what they need to win maybe even a state championship this year. I mean, they really have the skill to with their talent and everything. So this should be a good season for these Davidson girls. Timeout is ended and the ladies take the court. Morgan Fly inbounds it to Leduc. Hitchcock and Bellamy hustling back to cover Leduc there. Hitchcock on Leduc now. Leduc out to Morgan Fly. Fly takes it in. And steps out of bounds as Colby Bro was covering her tightly. Just another example of how good this Cardinals defense really is. Hitchcock into Bro. Bro jogs down court, setting up a play. Hands it off to Hitchcock, Hitchcock to Bellamy, which goes back to Bro. And Bro, ooh, With Bro a has steal. a steal. Good recovery. Hitchcock with the three, and it's good. That's the second time tonight that the girls have stolen the ball and made a play out of it. Another, oh, here's steal, another steal by Lauren Bellamy. That's three steals tonight by the girls in the flushing zone. And two of those, which turned out to be three-point shots, success. Number 11, Annie Wilson, new to this game today. Here we have Jordan LaDuke taking it up court with defense from Hitchcock. Timeout flushing. 30 second timeout there. Two minutes left before halftime and Cardinals are still dominating these flushing Raiders. I think the flushing called a timeout there because they're trying to set up a play here so that they can get some momentum for the next quarter and stuff. So, Because right now they're not looking like they are supposed to be. You know? I mean, they're just, I don't really see a whole lot of ball movement by flushing and Everybody's trying to get it to LeDuc, but I mean, LeDuc's just getting shut down, so it's time for the other players to step up and see what they can do this year. And I think that's really all they need, because right now they're just forcing it to LeDuc, which isn't giving us or giving their team anything really because of our defense, you know? They're doing a good job moving the ball around, but this Cardinal defense is just locked down. Andy Wilson takes it in up top. Passes it to 34, Emily Wendley. Emily battles against Raman. LeDuc down low with the two points. Not only is LeDuc a perimeter player, but she can also play down low. She can score, she can make the threes, and she can take it down low. Very good athleticism. Bill Bro's in now. Bill Bro to Raman, Raman to Hitchcock. Hitchcock to Bill Bro, Bill Bro with the three. 
and it's a bit short. Rebound by 34, Emily Wenling. Wenling passes it to Leduc. Leduc passes it to Wilson. Wilson up top. Pick by Leduc and gets the ball. Leduc takes it in, passes it out to 21, Simone Gollum. 34 gets the ball and Emily Wenling tries to hit it off Emily Lindsay, but it was actually off her, so. Very close call down there, though. She didn't look too happy about that call. So I think she thought that it went off uh, Emily's leg or something. Here we have reached our last minute. Hitchcock comes in, gives it to Taryn Laferney, who's new to this game also. Hitchcock to Laferney, Laferney to Raman, Raman to Bilbro. Bilbro with the pump fake to Hitchcock. Back to Bilbro, who takes it in, gives it to Hitchcock. Emily Lindsay on the perimeter, passes it to Bilbro, back to Hitchcock. They're trying to set up something here, I can tell. They're just passing it around. Either that or they're trying to waste time, so. Bilbro to Laferney up top, Laferney to Hitchcock. Hitchcock looks for somewhere to go. Passes it to Bilbro up top, back to Raman. And Raman travels again. That is her third travel this game. That's all right, that's all right. She's, she's trying, she's trying. Annie Wilson passes it in 24. Samantha Stein back to Wilson, who takes it up. Spin moves on Chelsea Bilbro. 234, that is only a one Up top to Gollum. Down low to Leduc, and she goes up for the first one, knocks the last foot, gets a rebound, and scores. And that's a half. Let's toss it to Tony. Thanks, guys. Well, the Cardinals definitely want this one after the first half to score is 25 to 14. Davidson holding flushing only 14 points in the first half is quite impressive. New coach TJ Fishhaber must be impressed with his team. Also, Coach Alden playing for his first home night game. Let's go to the story now by Weston Cowan. Weston. Still squeak. Shots will still swish. The only difference this season is the boys and girls' new basketball coaches. Uh, we're probably going to run a lot of the same, um, you know, we're probably going to run a lot of the same thing. We're trying to keep the, the changes as minimal as possible, but uh, I think I'll probably be a little more uh, defensive-minded than perhaps teams in the past have been. Coach Fishhaber is looking forward to this year with a lot of seniors. Well, we're really fortunate in that we've got a lot of girls returning. Um, we'll have an older team this year. We'll be very heavy with seniors, so we're very experienced. We've been to uh, district championship last three years in a row. And on the boys' side of the court, Coach Alderson talks about the pressures of coaching and the season they have ahead of them. It feels good. I think maybe it's a little more pressurized. I've been uh, teaching here for quite some time, but I've been coaching here for 18 years, so I've, I've been around. Uh, I haven't been the head coach, but I've been part of a lot of the uh, programs and a lot of the head coaching responsibilities. But uh, there's, there's definitely uh, a lot of work for us to do. With the young team behind them, Coach Alderson knows that they have to strive to be the best that they can be. Our expectations this year for this team is to improve every day. I think that this year is going to be a year of how we respond to First of all, a very tough schedule. Uh, we are young, we are inexperienced. So.
Welcome back to our third quarter action here. We have the girls just warming up and stuff, uh, getting ready for this third and fourth quarter here. Decently close game, 25-14, cards are up. Um, I think that cards are really proven that they can really work hard and get this defeat here. I mean, winning tonight would be like revenge because of this competition here. I mean, the two teams are so closely skilled, and so I really think that I, actually, I really think that Flushing's going to come out really hard this quarter and try and, like, ease their way up a little bit. Yeah, if I Flushing's going to turn it around, they're going to turn it around the beginning of this third quarter. They're going to crank up the action a notch. Oh, they've def they got to do something, and, and I mean, because Davison's just on fire right now. Their defense their is just shutting them down. Their defense is <coughs> doing really good, and their, their perimeter and inner play is it's all right. I mean, yeah, we've seen a few pretty good three-pointers from Davison. Yeah. Winding down here. Flushing's dominant player so far has been Jordan LeDuc. She is a dominant player, but I, I honestly don't think that she, she's as good as everyone says. I mean, she's very, very good player. And I just, I think really though, Davis is shutting her down so we can't really see her full skill. In my opinion, Flushing's team, they need more players to step up right now. And if they don't, I can see Davison just pulling off with an easy win. I'm, they're going to continue to keep covering the Duke, so I mean, they got to find something to do. Getting ready here to start off the second half. We have Entrican, Taylor Hitchcock, Lauren Bellamy, Kaylee Rahman, and Emily Lindsay. And for the flushing side, we have Jordan LeDuc, number 34, Emily Wendling, number 24, Samantha Stein, and number 42, Connor Morish. 22, Jamie Howell inbounding it to Jordan LeDuc. Taylor Hitchcock with a tight D on LeDuc. LeDuc passes it to 42, Connor Morris. Jamie Howell with the ball up top to 24. Samantha Stein, Samantha looks for somewhere to go. Out to Connor Morris. Connor Morris to Howell. Down low, trying to get it to Morris, but. Just miscommunication right there. And she, she overthrew a little bit, so. Hitchcock up top. Hitchcock out to Lindsay. Lindsay back to Hitchcock to Entrican. Entrican with the wide pass. Lindsay with the three and just a bit short. Ooh, but she goes up and tries to get the rebound. Unfortunately, went off of her foot and it out of bounds. Flushing ball. Jamie Howell, that is, 22, inbounding it. Passing it into Con I'm sorry, Emily Wendling, and it was an unsuccessful attempt. Out of bounds, Davison ball. Entrican passes in to Hitchcock. Hitchcock up top, trying to set something up to Entrican. Flushing Raiders are playing a zone defense right now. They got to do something to keep this team in control here because right now, I mean, the girls are just getting everything. So no points yet in the third quarter, but Jamie Howell inbounding, inbounding it. Passes it into the Duke. Double team on the Duke. Bellamy and Entrican are covering her pretty tight. Passes it to Howell. Wendling looks for somewhere to go and in the process travels. <laughs> Haven't seen too many travels or double dribbles here from Flushing tonight. Emily Lindsay inbounds it to Hitchcock. Hitchcock up top. Looking for somewhere to go. Passes it to the side to Entrican. Entrican down low to Bellamy. Bellamy out on top of the key to Raman. And Raman. Bellamy gets the rebound there and goes up with it, but nothing. Flushing de Flushing's defense has been looking a lot better this third quarter. Like I said, I think they're going to come out stronger. So, I mean, they got to do something to get some points here. They just got to be careful with Jordan Bellamy down low. Entrican with the rebound from the attempt of number 24 shooting three. Kaylee Rahman goes in with the and one. What a play. They're struggling through the foul to get the bucket. Great play, drew the foul and got the basket. But her free throw 
successful. Hitchcock covering the Duke. She's actually played very, very well defense on the Duke here. I mean, for being an All-Stater and Hitchcock just being an average player, but still being good, she's really, really given the Duke the pressure and causing the Duke to either turn over the ball or cause give it to her other players that can't do as much. Emily Lindsay with a three. And just a bit short. Entrican with the rebound. Hitchcock gives it to Hitchcock, but Hitchcock traveled. Howell inbounding it, passes it to number 24, Samantha Stein. Stein dribbles in to LeDuc Le there. LeDuc slowly takes it in, outside, looking for somewhere to go, passes it to Connor Mark Morris. Samantha Stein out to Jamie Howell, back to Stein, who takes it in for the shot, but no good. Out of bounds, flushing, Davidson's ball. Hitchcock up top, taking him in here. We haven't seen too much of the other players yet. It's been mostly a lot of the starters here, so. I think mostly because how much better the flushing Raiders have been playing this quarter. Roland Bellamy tries to go up, but can't make it. Hitchcock with some tight D on LeDuke. LeDuke passes it off to Stein. Howell sets the pick, Stein still has the ball. Out to Wendling. Wendling down low to LeDuke. LeDuke takes it in, shoots it up for two, but it's no good. Kaylee Rahman with the rebound. Entrican takes it in. Passes it off to Hitchcock to Raymond. Rahman, I'm sorry, Rahman shoots for the three, and it's no good. Lauren Bellamy causes the steal, pushes it up to Raman, and Lauren gets the point. What, what a play. play. play by Lauren there. She really hustled for the ball, got underneath it, and caused the um, turnover there. And Raman picked it up and just gave it right to her and got the two points. Great defensive skills along with offenses. Flushing now has the ball. The Duke's up top, passes it off to Stein. Stein takes it down low, and... It's no success. Mariah Ferris comes in for the Cardinals, taking out Lauren Bellamy. Connor Morris inbounding. Oh, we have a replay here. that we had some technical difficulties there oh and Hitchcock gets the steal and goes up but it's no good Davidson's really reading the Flushing's plays I mean, today they've had so many pickoffs and I mean I think the Flushing's is telegraphing where they're going with the ball and our girls are smart enough to see that so I mean great job by our girls good idea by the Flushing Raiders to call a timeout here because it seems like the momentum has swung to Davidson Cardinals I agree, I agree. They need to cool down, get a little rest there, talk about how they're gonna take this and see what comes from there. Set up a game plan for the rest of this third quarter. What do you think Coach uh, Fishhopper's over there talking about? He's just saying just try to keep the momentum going towards us, keep our defense tight, and if we just score any chance we get. And our timeout's coming close to an end. <coughs> Girls are all back on the court. And it is Flushing's ball. Annie Wilson will take the inbound. Inbounds it down low to Jordan LeDuc. LeDuc hustles up. She's getting double teamed by Andrew Kenan Ferris. And 21, Simone Golan with the attempt for a three, but no good. Down low, and Hitchcock steals it. 
takes it, passes it to Mariah Ferris, who takes it in. Ooh, and she steps out of bounds. Close call, close call. Ferris tried to, I'm sorry, Ferris tried to take it down low there. And Mariah Ferris with the ball. Emily Lindsay with the three, and it's good. Great shot by Emily Lindsay. Great shot by Emily there. And great inbound play for the girls. The girls really looked for the open man and got it right to him. And, oh, and here's a steal by Mariah Ferris. It's kind of a hard one to see what's going on. It kind of went off the ref's legs there and got in the way. But it's flushing ball. The Duke with the ball. Hitchcock covering her tight. The Duke takes it in, passes it off to 12. Kelsey Gerhardt out to Connor Morris. Connor Morris up top to the Duke. The Duke for the three, but it's short. And tall Connor Morris goes up and gets the rebound. Morris got a foul there, and now it's Davison's ball. Mariah Ferris takes it in to Taylor Hitchcock. Hitchcock slowly takes it in, looking for somewhere to go with it. Passes it off to Emily Lindsay. Back to Mariah Ferris. To Emily Lindsay. Back to Ferris. Down to Raman. To Emily Ferris. Ferris draws the DN, passes it out to Emily. Oh, and Emily caused the turnover, but that's fine. It was a nice attempt, nice look by Emily there, trying to get it down to Ferris, but unfortunately, their hands are just in the way there, so. And number 12, Kelsey Gerhardt with the three pointer for Flushing. Hitchcock passed it into Robin there. And just, pow just, just powered right through the defense for that layup. Oh, Flushing passes it in. Annie Wilson for Flushing. Went off her hand. And then Lindsay inbounds for the cards. Passes it into Taylor Hitchcock. Hitchcock out to Emily Lindsay. Emily with the three. And it's good. Her second of the night. The momentum has just swung to Davis inside wholly. Girls are coming out so strong right now. Their D is tight and their offensive offensive skill is just through the roof right now. I mean, they're getting steal after steal and just point after point here. Lots of threes tonight. Oh, but Jordan LeDuc answers back with a nice three. Down to our last minute of the play in this third quarter action. Taylor Hitchcock up top. And to Chelsea, Chelsea back to Emily. Ooh, and just a bit wide. They're letting these three-pointers just fly. Hey, I mean, she's open. and Give the ball to someone who's got a hot hand, so. Leduc takes it in, and that's short. Defense stopped him. Hitchcock takes the ball, 32 seconds. Hitchcock slowly taking it in, trying to run down the clock a little bit here. Crosses it over. Taylor comes in, and she gets stuffed. By number 42, Connor Morris. <laughs> Taylor, who's so small, tried to go up against someone who's almost half her size there, 6'3", and I mean, you're going up for a layup, and they got you got her over you. I mean, I don't think you're going to get too much elevation on the ball to get the point, you know I mean? Yeah, um, Flushing has... Ferris, Ferris with the three attempts, but it's no good. Flushing has some pretty tall players on their team. Number 12, Kelsey Gerhardt, was passed the ball for, on the fast break and unfortunately could not make the ball there. Mizuka's is passing it in here, inbounding it to Gerhardt with the three, and it's no good for the two seconds. Buzzer. And we'll toss to Tony here for his side. Davis just keeps dominating this flushing basketball team, which in the past has been extremely good and been a tough challenge for the Cardinals to take down. 
Seems like everything Davison throws up is gonna go in. So hopefully that goes like that for the rest of the night. We'll see how the game turns out. Now back to your announcers. The beginning of the game. Thanks, Tony. Oh, sorry there. Uh, this third quarter, this past third quarter was just amazing. I mean, the girls really held their D tight and um, Flushing didn't really have too many opportunities to capitalize and they didn't have too many points. Cards came out with a lot of points. I mean, down low and free throws and three pointers all around the paint and everything. They're just doing a great job and getting so many opportunities and capitalizing on those. Yeah, from the beginning of this game, we haven't really seen Flushing make an attempt to really pass the Cardinals for the lead and Cardinals have just been dominating all around the whole game. I think the girls are more focused. I mean, this, like I said before, it's their biggest rivalry. So, I mean, trying to come out as hard as they can to I mean, make something happen and maybe let this drought, you know, come over. Because it's been a while since we've last uh, beat these Flushing Raiders here. And we have our fourth quarter action here. Mariah Ferris passing it in. Passes it to Colby Bro. Colby takes it in, passes it out to Mar Mariah Ferris, I'm sorry, to Taylor Hitchcock. Taylor takes it in for the layup, and it's good. What a great drive by Ta Taylor there. I mean, really hustled in there and got the ball. Yeah, not much pressure on. was put on her down there, down low. And there's what I'm talking about. I mean, if Flushing wants to, I mean, do anything in this game, they got to capitalize on their defense and just really bear down with it, you know? And right now, they're just not doing too much. Number 32, that is Morgan Fly with the three attempt there, but no good. Out of bounds on Flushing. Mariah Ferris takes it in, inbounds it to Taylor Hitchcock there. Ooh, nice move by Taylor there. Down to Kaylee Raman, up to Colby Bro. Colby takes it in for the shot, but it's no good, just a bit high. Jordan Leduc takes it up top. Looking for something, passes it to Stein. Stein takes it in, but she is fouled. That was a foul on number 14, Colby Bro. Haven't seen a lot of free throws tonight, only a few. Stein with her first attempt. Our Davidson girls just aren't letting up here. I mean, they're coming on strong. They, they're a powerhouse right now. Very relentless. And her second attempt was also no good. 32 tries to pass it out to the side, but... Our Lauren Bellamy stole the ball. There's just, our defense is just bearing down hard and we're getting every opportunity we can to get the ball And So far there's just been steal after steal after steal. I'm very impressed by this Cardinals defense. The Duke is passing it in to 22, Jamie Howe out to Stein, who passes it back to the Duke. The Duke takes it in, drives it in, and it is no good, bobbled right over the rim a little bit. Colby takes it in. Really hustling. To number 41, Morgan Hitchcock. Ooh, and she causes a turnover, giving it to LeDuc. Ooh. LeDuc drained a three right in front of Morgan Hitchcock. That was a great three-pointer, right with a hand nice in her face, too. I mean, Morgan was playing some tight defense on her, but I mean, with someone that tall and that good against you, I mean, you really gotta really bear down and cover tight D so that that doesn't happen. Ooh, Lauren Bellamy with the backwards shot. Almost went in, but it was no good. Tight D still. I mean, really, really, really covering just amazing defense right now.
Anaya Ferris inbounding it to Colby Bro. All three freshmen are out right now. Bronte Zizinski down low to Lauren Bellamy. Lauren Bellamy. Ooh, point was called off to a travel. Good call there by the ref. It was a good call, but I don't think the girls really agree with it. They're all kind of having their angry faces on down there, so. Kelsey Gerhart Pat tries to get it to number 22. Jamie Howell, but it was knocked out of bounds. Mariah Ferris inbounds it to Colby Bro. Colby Bro crossing over. Trying to take it up court to Mariah Ferris. Mariah looks for somewhere to go. Passes it to Morgan Hitchcock. Morgan with the three. No good. Bellamy with the rebound and goes up for the layup. What a shot. She's had at least four offensive rebounds this game. Stein up to Howell. Howell looks over to that is Amber Wilson. Amber gives it to Gerhardt and she scores three. Stein with the three and it's a bit short. Rebound by Gerhardt and gets the point. Nice effort there by Gerhardt. I mean, really going hard and trying to get the ball. Oh, we have a timeout by Davison over here. Probably wanting to slow things down a bit and just make sure they maintain this lead and not swing the momentum to the Raiders side. Exactly. Really fast paced game here. I mean, the Raiders are trying to fight back. Got five points here this third, fourth quarter. Um, I mean, they're really trying to come out strong and make this a, a little bit closer of a game. Cards are still up quite a bit, 43 to 25 it is. I mean, I guess we'll see how things turn out. Aaron, if you were the flushing coach, what would you be telling your players? Well, right now I'd be saying get the ball to LeDuc. And I mean, even though she is getting double teamed, she's got a better chance of making something happen. So I mean, I think right now they're focused on getting the ball to LeDuc so she can create opportunities down low and in the post and stuff like that. And also cover tight D on Bellamy down low. But she's just been getting rebound after rebound, so. Yeah. We'll see what happens here as Mariah Ferris takes it in to Colby Bro. Colby takes it in there. Got number 22 there. Howell diving after. Down to Bellamy. Bellamy out to Bronte Dozinski. To Morgan Hitchcock for the three, but no good. Mariah Ferris and Number 12, that is Kelsey Gerhardt going at it there in the scruffle. Jamie Howell tries to pass it up to LeDuc, but it goes off Davis's hands. Colby Bro takes it up top, passes it out to Mariah Ferris. Mariah takes it in for the two, and it's no good. She goes up for it, but just a bit high. Stays Cardinals possession. Also, after this game, seeing how it is in the fourth quarter, I might warn you that next, after this game, is the boys varsity basketball game, which will be broadcasted by Jeff Perry and Drake Morgan. I'm sorry, Kelly and Drake Morgan. Next. Colby Bro goes up with the two. A little one hand J shot there. Nice. I like it. Brown Pedazinski with the steal to Lauren Bellamy for the two down low, but no good. Lauren Bellamy hustling after the Duke there. Passes it out to Stein. But it's no good for the three attempt. Last week's basket was by Colby Crow. We have a few substitutes in. 
Robin, Fernie, and Fulton are all in. Robin inbounds it to Laferni. Laferni being double teamed. Jump ball. White's ball. Robin again inbounding it. Passes it to passes it off to Colby Bro. Colby hustles down court. Passes it over to Fulton. Nice play by Colby there. She drew, a, drew in the foul. And now La Fernie will be inbounding. Passes it out to Ramen. La Fernie goes up. And it's a bit short. Foul made by Laferni. Davison's foul to number 20. Taryn Laferni, that is her first, the team's third. Davison's team fouls are three. We have Annie Rosen inbounding to Fort Boston. Wilson's taking it up court. Paige Skinner's also on now. Wilson passing it to 32 at Morgan Fly. Out to 14. Donna Lothrop. Who bobbles the ball. Jump ball, and it is Flushing's ball. Morgan Fly is inbounding. Is it a little long to uh, Amber Wilson there, who's being covered by Paige Skinner. Up top to Jamie Howell. Howell down low, trying to get it to Emily Wendling, but Durante Dobzinski stuck her hand in there and caused a turnover. Taryn Laferni on the side perimeter. Trying to take it in and make something happen. Up top to Colby Bro. Colby Bro. Crossing over, taking it in, passing it out to Taryn, who pump fakes. Passes it to Fulton up top. Fulton bobbles the ball a little bit, but fouled by 32. Washington's more than fly. Chelsea Dilbro in for Colby Bro. Colby, Colby's just been doing a great job today. She's really hustling and trying to set stuff up. She's very, very good and has a lot of skill and will definitely Very be athletic. useful in the next years. Taylor Laferni trying to get it down to Bronte Dajinski, but a little bit, a little bit wide, out of bounds, and Flushing takes it in. Chelsea Gerhardt taking it up top, passing it over to Fly. Taylor Laferni being up on her, out to Elothrop. Up to Gerhardt. Gerhardt passes it off to Morris. Morris to fly. Fly up top. Down to Morris with the two-point attempt, but it's no good. Bill Bro comes out of that scruffle there with the ball. Running down court, tries to get it to Lin Emily Lindsay. Or not Emily Lindsay, I'm sorry, Lindsay Fulton. But goes out of bounds on flushing. Paige Skinner inbounding here. Chelsea Bilbro up top, trying to take it in. Paige Skinner up top to Taryn Laferni. Taryn for the three, and it's no good. Out of bounds, Davis, and that is why. Taryn a little confused on what happened there, but was off. It was out of bounds, I'm sorry. Gerhardt taking it in here. Passes in the fly, who's up top on the perimeter. Passes it off to Lothrop. Fly setting the pick. A Lothrop to Morris. Morris down low to Wendling. And Wendling goes up, but it's no good. Taryn getting the ball and passing it off to Morgan with a nice little save there. Paige sets it, or gives it to Chelsea Bilbro there for the three, but it's no good. Taryn Laferni comes out of the scruffle with the ball. Passes it to Dubzinski. Dubzinski over to Skinner. Skinner goes in. Up top to Bilbro. Only a minute left to go. Cardinals lead by 20. Lindsay with the ball up top. Paige Skinner. 
Paige Skinner to Kaylin Laferni. Laferni out to Skinner. Out to Fulton. Fulton on top of the ball. Laferni up top. Trying to draw down the clock. Here seeing how it's the last quarter and they're up 45-25. Bronte. Dzinski with the ball. Not a lot of enthusiasm left in these flushing rangers. Emily Wendling with a foul on Bronte Dzinski there. Bronte Dzinski shooting two here. First one was good and second one also. Morgan Fly up court to Gerhardt. Low trip to Wendling. Wendling up top with the ball looking for somewhere to go. Passes it off to Morris. Morris takes it in with the layup and it's no good, just a bit wide. But up with the ball. Is a look, Alathorpe, and it gets two. And that's the end of it, and that's your game. Davis and Cardinals 47, Flushing Raiders 47. First time Davis has beaten Flushing in a long, long time, and I bet you Coach Fishhaber is just excited for that right now. So, great job tonight, girls. What a great effort by both teams. What a wonderful job that uh, great defense, did. great offense, all around good game. Looks like Tony Campo has an interview with Lauren Bellamy over there. Let's toss it to him. Thanks, guys. Well, uh, first of all, congrats on the win. How's it feel to beat Flushing? It feels amazing. We've been working hard for this, and we're just really happy to beat them finally. So, uh, is this a little payback for the playoffs last year? Definitely payback. We wanted this bad. Came out with that 18 to 2 run. I mean, has Fisher ever been on you guys hard for this game? Yeah, we he's been he's been really re we've been really focusing and we just won the first two minutes, came out hard and did our thing and just happy to come out on top. All right, thanks, Lauren. Congratulations on the win. Now, baby. Thanks, Tony. And that is it for tonight. Cards defeat Flushing Raiders, 47 to 27. Thank you for tuning in. Now tune in to the boys basketball next.